Our mutual friend said we should meet, so we're meeting. Sir, I have to say, it is an honor to be pitching to the king of the monster movies. You done kissing my ass, or should I book us a room? Come on, kid, give me the pitch. Picture this. A top secret lab. Alarms are blaring. Something's gone wrong. Blood splatter here and there. Bah, all over the walls. Chaos. But we don't see anybody or anything. Just shadows. We smash cut to a red phone. It's ringing on a nightstand. Our hero's gonna pick it up. Yeah, she's a badass woman in a quiet suburban house. Yes, Mrs. President? Shit. Our hero's so important that she has a direct line to the president? The president goes, there's been an incident at a secret lab. If it gets worse, the world will end. Our hero says, on it. You got me hooked so far, kid. Everything our badass hero needs is at the drop point. Including a gun, ammo, and a sweet jet ski provided by the U.S. of A. I fucking love jet skis in movies. Along the way, our hero follows these big industrial pipes that are leaking this uh, zombie making goo. Our hero gets near two lovers in the moonlight, having a little dip. Zombie bear attack! So then, we'd see uh, uh, the weird moose. No, wait, it's a zombie, zombie moose! moose. We can amp it up and hint what we're gonna see at the secret lab. Right, 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 right. And, and uh, there's a there's a container and goo is leaking out of it. Yeah, a bunch of hunters who were camping there are now zombies.
There's a crash chopper there, right? Of course. No survivors. Then our hero sees blood and guts. No, it should be R-rated blood and guts. <laughs> what about unrated, vomit-inducing, burned in theaters, blood and guts for the Blu-ray? Obstacle. All right, so far, we've got our hero guns blazing the hell out of everything. Huh. So they, they just have to find a way out. Okay, okay. So, so then we see a zombie wolf just going to town on someone. I'm talking all-you-can-eat zombie buffet. Okay, we need a big scare here. Perfect time for a behemoth zombie! Then, our hero walks into a room that's for experiments. Oh, yes, I love it! We had the mystery at the start, now we're paying it off. It's it's a secret underground lab, right? Uh, we should feel trapped. Uh, uh, what's that word? Uh, uh, kleptophobic? Claustrophobic! This company is doing some seriously fucked up shit!
our hero finds a locker room filled with blood. We're getting close to the finale, kid. Make it a weapons locker. this a mutation station right in the middle of the room no dialogue needed here fuck i love that there isn't much dialogue in this movie it's just this badass character solving a mystery and kicking ass But the goo's still coming. <gasps> yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's coming from further below. So our hero gets to the edge and says, I guess no good deed goes unpunished. And plunges down below. Our hero sees the source of the zombie making goo. And she's got to blow that shit up. Uh huh. She is willing to make the ultimate sacrifice if it means the world will be a safer place. That's why people go to the movies to see heroes do shit exactly like this. And smoke, we see our hero. Yeah, nothing can stop this badass woman. Our hero goes home after a long night of saving the world, and just as her eyes close, the bedroom door opens. It's her kid. Good morning, Mommy. Our hero smiles. It's fucking beautiful. I love the message, the character, the emotion, the everything. This is gonna be an award-winning franchise, kid. The budget for a movie like this is huge, and you've never directed before, right? I made video games. Worthless. Yeah, what about directing something as a tryout? Yeah, I'm down for that. The first director ran off with a cult. So, how do you feel about Montana? 